My mom is from Lebanon and my dad is Irish and they actually met when my dad was serving in the UN in Lebanon. My family were originally Palestinian. My dad came to complete his studies here. Both my parents are Egyptian, but I was born in Dubai and my family moved here when I was three. My family is from Libya. They came here as refugees. You often hear that Islam is a way of life and it really is. It encompasses every aspect, every little aspect of your life from how you behave socially to how you, you know you respect your elders, you respect non-Muslims, how you respect people, how you deal with people, to how you, you use your money even economically like. I pray my five prayers on a daily basis, I try to always give charity. You know, Islam is my identity, it's what I absolutely uh, you know, go back to for everything. I don't go about my day trying to see where I can fit my religion in, it's the opposite way around. Like, my life and everything I do on a daily basis revolves around my religion. My sister and I did Sunday, we were two like Muslim twins, everyone knew us as the Muslim kind of Palestinian twins. Didn't cause any problems, we weren't bullied or anything for being Muslim. Thankfully. When I was younger, there was some, I suppose, bullying, but I like to show off as quite evident that I'm Muslim and that, you know, I'm not ashamed of who I am and I'm not ashamed of, you know, my history and where I came from. And it definitely isn't anywhere near as much of a problem as it was when I was a, in secondary school. Yeah, no, you have never. the odds. You have, like, it's mainly just name calling, yeah. but, like, it's mainly name calling, and usually it's from, like, it's often from like young people, yeah. so you can kind of understand that like they haven't been receiving the correct information. I started wearing the hijab this summer. I felt like I wanted it to be visually evident that I was Muslim. And I wanted it, especially during a time where, you know, Islamophobia is rising. I want it to be, you know, I'm representing Islam. I find them like you were, so amazing and liberating and free. Yeah, like it's just so easy to just, just throw yeah. on. I swear. No, it's not just that, but like it's like just, you said, it's liberating. Like I'm putting you in a position where I'm forcing you to judge me based yeah. on my intellect and my ideologies and like and what you, you think of my personality. Control. You can't judge me based on how I look. Like you don't actually know how I look, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm putting you in a position where you have to judge me on me basically, and that's just. Mm. It's a really nice feeling. I feel like the problem in today's society is everyone feels like they have the right to see things. But like, you don't like though, the, yeah. Like I have the right to tell you that you're oppressed, which makes no sense because that's kind of oppression in yeah. itself. It's almost become a political statement to wear the headscarf. You know, we're often, the headscarf is often, you know, deemed as being oppressed or like, you know, it's not our choice, but it, it, it is our choice, especially with like guys and people that I've been friends, that I've been friends with for a long time. They've approached me differently, but not in a bad way. It's the way I want to be approached. You know, have like set boundaries. You know, obviously as a Muslim, we can't be overly, you know, friendly with guys or whatever. And I think that sets the boundary between us. In Western media, Islam is simply portrayed as by terrorism. That's it. Like it's defined by terrorism. I was in secondary school when the Paris attacks happened, and I remember sitting down. And when I first heard it, my first reaction wasn't like. I wasn't mourning or anything. I was just looking to make sure this person was a Muslim so we wouldn't face the backlash. And I think people often forget that, you know, when something like this happens, people often come to us looking for like an apology and often wants us to be like apologetic or defend ourselves. And I think that can be so exhausting, especially if you're, you know, you're growing up and you're trying to prove yourself and you're trying to find your Islamic identity. And to have that, it kind of like, it throws you off and it does get tiring and stuff. And I remember that was a big problem for me growing up. You know, Muslims are victims as well, yeah, and we need time to mourn these deaths as well. Like, it's not our fault, you know?